Tell me why the Asa Wright Reserve is here. Before the year, it was a cocoa coffee and citrus plantation. But uh, what we've planted here is quite a lot of uh, plants uh, from Asia and so on to attract a wide array of birds. Right in the valley here uh, itself, you can probably um, get around 200 different species oh of birds. Oh my goodness, 200. All in all, it's about um, a thousand acres. Uh -huh. So it's a fairly large reserve. All this growth then has come back since they quit raising coffee? That's right. Oh, it's amazing. These trees are huge. Somebody discovered the oil birds. It had to have just been climbing around through this jungle. That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah. So, was he looking for them? No, uh, Mr. Dunstan. Uh, he uh, was a friend of the Turden last owner here, well, Mrs. Acer Wright. And he was just trekking through here. He heard the loud rocker call of these oil birds, and then he stumbled upon their gorge. So he identified them by their, their call then? Yeah. I see. It normally sounds as if someone is being strangled to death and vomiting at the same time. <laughs> it's not a beautiful sound, but it's distinctive. So are they communicating with each other with that sound? Yeah, that's right. So they're uh, communicating as well as scaring off predators as well. And why do they call them oil birds? Well, because many uh, years ago, persons, uh, they'd use these birds and harvest them for oil. Uh, so they'd also spear them as well and uh, use them as torches. So they're very high in fatty and oil content. They'd use a bird as a torch? Yeah, they'd use them as a torch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so uh, they feed on palms and incense. Now, they're the only nocturnal fruit eating bird uh, just in the world. And uh, they'd swallow these palms whole and then uh, regurgitate them onto the ground as well. Well, what they normally do is feed uh, their younger oil birds with those uh, regurgitated seeds. So they have a wingspan of around 42 inches as well. So very, very large birds. And they're not related to any other bird in the world closely? They're their own species of bird, not related to any other family. That is fascinating.